I have been wanting to make a video for well over a week now, but I have been struggling so hard with my schizoaffective disorder and definitely my PTSD. I um, got some news from someone and it has really just uh, kicked everything into overdrive and my ritual behavior is what my therapist calls it my OCD is kicked into jet propulsion mode so I haven't gotten a lot done I did do some shopping and I thought I would do a video of the mugs that I have gotten over the past um, I think it's been a couple weeks I was um, it was interesting when I looked at my YouTube channel I saw that a, a couple people had watched my videos so that was pretty cool but yeah the um, the struggle today it is like I got everything out of the way and um, tried to make it so that tomorrow I can just watch all my favorite youtubers all day that's what I do on Saturdays and um, I really thought I had to get the videos done and then I really need to write something out so that I can get it off my mind so anyway I thought I'd branch out on the mugs a little bit and um, see how they do on eBay this is a uh, really cute you find these at like PetSmart or Petco. I remember when I had um, a Cocker Spaniel. I would see these in uh, the pet store and they were like really expensive. I want to say like $25. But um, I picked this one up for a dollar from Goodwill, which is weird because. The Goodwill that I go into, their prices are like astronomically high. And they've been marking things like this, um, like say $5.99. So it was odd to find it for like the Goodwill price that it always is of $0.99 cents or $0.97 cents, depending on what store you go into. And then I did pick up um, this Christmas mug. I just like the, um, I like the artwork on it. I just kind of thought it was cool, but this is a Food Network mug, so it's just nice and heavy, and it was one of um, one of my favorites, actually. It's just kind of my style. I don't know why. Then I found um, Royal Dalton. Um, oops, <laughs> no chips or scratches or cracks. Um... I found this little Royal Dalton, and um, let's see, I got this one at Goodwill as well. Um, this one, I believe, was two dollars. This is Bunny to the Town Station, and then the other side has a train on it. It kind of reminded me, like, um, there was a book that I had when I was little, Peter Rabbit. Maybe it's the same thing. I don't know. Yeah, I remember from um, my mom and my neighbor, um, my mom's neighbor friend in the 90s doing antiquing. I remember the Royal Dalton, Dalton uh, name. So I picked this up and so looking around eBay a little bit and it looks like um, most of these have two handles on them. This is a one handle. So I was looking on there and it looks like they're probably $10, which is kind of cool. And I'm not just buying anything. I'm buying ones that are interesting to me. And there's probably somebody out there that would also think it's cool. I love John Steinbeck, so when I found um, this one, the Steinbeck House, I I just kind of like, the image of the actual house is just, I like it. I can kind of picture myself living in it, and um, one of my favorite shows ever, uh, Six Feet Under, 
And when I look at the house on here, doesn't it look a lot like the house from Six Feet Under? But I, I really like this one, so I thought I'll give that one a chance, and if not, I'll keep it for myself. Until I move, I want to get a travel trailer and live in it. I need my own space again. I found this one, and I lived in Austin for almost 10 years. But it was kind of in the spirit of the Starbucks You Were Here mug, you know? Austin, Texas, just a souvenir mug. It's oversized. Shows the city limit. 790390 so this mug has a few years on it but it shows 6th Street and Old South Austin kinda a lot of stuff that Austin's known for pretty cool so I picked that one up it's by Exit 82 Art out of Austin Texas this one reminds me of a friend. I thought this one is really cool. It says coffee time on it. It would make a nice gift. So, yep, that was the um, first grouping from the first place. And um, I am going to now get into... The ones from my favorite thrift store because they don't put out any chipped glass or cracked anything. Uh, the manager there was telling me they don't because you know people can get hurt and that is true. And um, but that charity, every single penny that comes in through that thrift shop, every single penny goes to uh, their mission. So I really like that. I think that's just really cool. Right now I'm unwrapping some mugs. I'm looking forward to Christmas time and I'm planning ahead. So Halloween's coming up. So I'm looking for some Halloween stuff too. I haven't had any luck on that so far. I need to go to the Dollar Tree for myself and um Get, every year I get a scarecrow and um, the kind with the stick in it like the post and I put it in my plants so this one here had a two dollar price tag on it but I figured anything Star Trek someone's going to be looking for so I got it and then I looked it up on eBay two have sold Within the past 90 days, there's none currently available, and it turns out that this $2 cup is worth $25, so that was pretty cool. And the same thing with, like, this just interested me, and I wasn't a fan of George W. Bush's politics, but I love his daughter, Jenna Bush Hager. Um, I love um, watching her in Hoda uh, when she's on there maternity leave now but this was from um, the George W. Bush, Bush childhood home site and um, honoring the past inspiring the future so uh, I don't really I don't agree with that but I thought that the pictures on it were kind of cool and someone that's like a political collector or whatever they might be interested on, in it and um, it's like the tag, I think it says um, 1097 or 2097, I don't know. But this would be one of the $5.25 thingies if I don't break it. Then I found a vintage um, NBC sports mug. So I thought somebody that's into um, sport collectibles and stuff, I thought they might like that. Actually, um, just um, had a mug on eBay for Harry Carey, who was a Cubs announcer out of Chicago, had a little spinning baseball on it. And it's something that maybe people would think, like, nobody would want that. Yeah, somebody does. So 
This one here, um, I'm going to have to figure out if I have to cover up a word or what, but this one says, Happy Birthday. Uh, when people ask you how old you are, tell them what I tell them. And it, on the inside of the mug, it's none of your fucking business. So I thought that was great. These were all 50 cents, by the way, unless otherwise noted. Um, a Dunkin' Donuts mug, 50 cents. And you know what? I looked on eBay, and um, looks like the Dunkin' Donuts mugs go for about the same price as some of the Starbucks mugs. So I like Dunkin' Donuts. Um, <coughs> this one, I was in the thrift shop the day before and some guy picked it up and said to me I wonder why anyone would donate this pretty thing like making fun of it and um, a friend uh, in another state has Shih Tzu's and I looked at it and I thought well maybe he would like to have that but then I thought I have the Bichon Frise one that one from another day so maybe someone would like the Shih Tzu mug and then I remember seeing these in the pet store as well so um, for Otis the pug I'd love to find a pug mug and like I said looking for Christmas and Halloween and stuff um, there's so many ones out there like that style like from the dollar stores but this one was like it's a tall, it was nice and heavy. And um I think the snowman is cute. He reminds me of um living in Illinois. Just out with your morning coffee and a smoke. But it's too expensive to live where I'm originally from. Too expensive and a lot of drama. The other Christmas one I picked up was this really cute reindeer on there. I really love the anyone that does cartoon reindeer. I love Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, the really old one. And then finally, um, this vintage NBC mug. The people that really watch the morning shows and are really into it, um, when they see the, you know, newscasters or whatever you call them, um, you know, drinking out of their mugs, they might be into some of the older stuff. I don't know. But, so I got a whole bunch of stuff to um, be working with and get in on eBay. Um... This is actually working towards a goal, and um, hopefully it works out. Usually for me, nothing ever works, so I don't have high expectations, but we'll see. All right, my throat's really dry. <laughs>